congratulations on the film. Thanks. I saw it on Monday. It's absolutely wonderful. Uh, people always talk about chemistry, but I wanted to ask you guys, the scenes in the park where you two are back-to-back -back talking about numbers, I wondered how important those scenes were, both for you as actors, but also Bradley for you as a filmmaker and bringing those characters uh, back to life. Yeah, it's, it's, I'm so glad you brought that up. That was something that came out of, uh, of our work and preparation. Uh, we found ourselves doing an exercise as these characters, and we wound up being back-to-back -back sitting there, and it was kind of a wonderful visual metaphor for their relationship in so many ways. And so Josh Singer and I went back and uh, bookended the movie uh, uh, in some respects with that position and them sitting together and how it can mean different things as you evolve in, in your relationship. Um, and just the joy, uh, everything, would, their games were a huge part of their dynamic as a family and as a couple. So any time that we could inject games uh, into the film, I, I was very, it felt like we were really doing right by them and who they really were. So they, they play this numbers game to see if they know each other. And later in bed, he's playing a game called Envy and Secrets in order to divulge something real about himself. Um, yeah, so I'm glad you brought that up. It felt like we were very connected to them in those moments. Yeah, I think it was, you know, we, we ended up in our, we did a workshop over a week, but we we spent a day of that at Fairfield at their home, which is where we shot all, everything in the film. And we ended up in Felicia's garden sitting back to back. And so it felt like every time we did that, we just felt really connected to, you know, these people. Um, and it made everything feel like not acting and just sort of... Um, so, I mean, every time we were together, which is kind of most of the film, but every time we were together, it felt very easy in lots of ways. Um, but I think that was because we had so much time together before we started shooting to, you know, work on to it. work, yeah. yeah. The composing scene, as well, I have to say, is absolutely breathtaking. And you're in the background. Did you get to experience it firsthand? The conducting, I, conducting scene. The conducting yeah, scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did yeah. you get to experience it? Because you, you, you pop up towards the end of the scene, but it's like a one take. I mean, it's just kind of overwhelming. Was it? Did you feel like that? Yeah, remarkable. I mean, remarkable to watch um, all of it. And, and to, because, he had, because I'd known the work that Bradley put into getting to that point, uh, which was six years of preparation and, and rehearsal and going to the New York Phil three times a week and going to, you know, the, the amount of prep. I've never seen anything like it. So this was the culmination of that. And so to get to, and, and it was, in a way, it was great because all I had to do was watch and then the camera came to me at the last moment. But so much of that was a mixture of me and Felicia and the trepidation and the excitement for him and seeing it all come together. It was, it was un unbelievable. Just finally, Bradley, I wanted to ask you, it's your second film, and I know they talk about second album syndrome, second season syndrome, and all that kind of stuff. Did you feel that pressure, or did, did you feel more the pressure that you put maybe on yourself as a filmmaker, to, for, because it's your second time? Did you feel that pressure, or was it a bit of a different pressure? I think it's more of the latter, uh, pressure that one puts on oneself, uh, given the material that one's chosen to pursue. I definitely felt, um, I, uh, you know, terrified early on that I was... Um, uh, having uh, Leonard Bernstein and his wife as, as characters in a movie and that I would hope to do right by it. You know, and the pressure of, geez, this is a, an icon and, uh, you know, I just don't want to mess it up. <laughs> you know, really that kind of pressure, a, a real person. You know, I, I had that a couple times before, Chris Kyle with American Sniper, you know, and you see their family, this, you know, it's a big deal. And um, that was a lot of pressure. But welcome pressure, it, obviously. I do like being terrified artistically. I think it's a big motivating factor. But eventually that fear goes away. And the best way to create, I think, is fearlessly. Unlike sports sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey you guys! <laughs> hey you guys! Hey, that's what they all say. Hey you guys! Hey!